I gotta say today, not that ambitious. The guys started working here around nine o'clock. I think they got, well, we could go take a quick peek because I'm like, I should do a video. This could be my last, I'm gonna keep on saying, this could be my last video because, well, it's the weekends come in, temple annuals coming. I haven't went and visited my, any of my Thai friends because my life is consumed at the farm, which is okay. But this morning when I was out here, I'm like from this gate all the way to that gate, I figure it's 12 posts. 12 post concrete bricks smoothing and I figure then I have everything done in the yard well not everything I'm missing one thing I need to make a shack with an outdoor toilet that's that's got to be done and my uncle's son who's in Israel that's I want him to build it and I don't know when he's coming back but this is what we got so far this is the concrete smoothing so they got four panels done and this will bring some strength to the fence so the girls are making kapun, which is the noodle soup with fish. This is gonna be fish. And this is, okay, I got a quick story to tell you. I got food poisoning from kapun. So in one of my videos, we went and had noodle soup at our sister's, Dang's. And I only ate three foods that day. I had eggs in the morning, I had kapoon noodles at lunch, and then I had pad krapal uh, mu in the, in the evening, and I had one coconut drink. So my wife was like, she's like, I, I, you're guaranteed it's the coconut drink. She goes, no one else got sick. So I was the only one who had the eggs. I was the only one who ate the pad krapal mu so the noodle soup we all ate it but apparently everyone did get sick i just got super sick so i don't know if it, it was a bacteria and the thai people they just shrugged it off they got a little bit of the poops where i was oh it dehydrated me so we didn't find this out till one day we were back at Dang's coffee shop and we went to eat with her fish and she told us that, yeah, they, she thought it was from the raw beef, but obviously it was the soup. So these concrete bricks right here, the reason you want to put that concrete on the outside, the concrete smoothing is it's, this stuff is just... You could break it with just pop. Okay, I'll show you guys some of the smoothing. The guys went for lunch. It's the perfect day here because I think it's like 29 and it has a nice breeze. It's windy. But now the sun, as soon as I start a video, sun breaks out. Just my luck. Thailand's so hot. Boom, boom, boom. Bum, bum, ba -dum.
Okay, so the first part they do is they water, they wet the wall or the fence down, and then they smooth it out. So they gotta bring all the materials though from over there back to here, mix the concrete. At least we got water all around the, the pond. One of the issues is that not that it's an issue. There's 38 sections to smooth. So right now they have done one, two, three, four, five, six, it'll be seven. To do it in four days, I think they'd have to do nine. I'm gonna say it's gonna take them five days. Depending though, if they started tomorrow and got a good start, the section on the far side of the pond though, where I have the pipe, I think that'll take them a little longer. But I think on the outside of the fence where they're working now, I think they could smooth that really quick. Plus the sun isn't on them all day. So one guy mixes, two guys do the smoothing. One of the workers just left because he's probably gonna go take his buffalo out of the spot and put it into, I don't know how this works. Here, take a buffalo, you put a buffalo here, you take a buffalo there, you put a buffalo here. The thing is, in Thailand, there's not much, there is some fences, I don't wanna say there's no fences, but so that's why here the cows can roam all through the whole entire farm. And that's why we get into some cow breaches where the cows, they kind of call for each other. And then all of a sudden this neighbor down here has three cows. Sai has two cows down here. And then all of a sudden there's cows running around they're playing, eating the garden. And then I'm gonna find out, I don't know if I wanna bother them today. I wanna find out about how much would it cost to just do this fence. Let's get this done. Once it's done, it's done. And I still can't get a load. I need a load of dirt. I need a load of dirt for here. It's hard to tell how high this is, but that concrete, that concrete's pretty, pretty high. It needs, it needs more dirt. Day to me. Wow, 51. Who's 51? Happy birthday. Let me blow. Oh, oh, I get the special treatment. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Okay, now I blow out the candle. Get the one. Okay, cup, coon, cup. Okay, today I turned 51. I remember when I turned 50. 51, then I'll remember, oh man, I remember when I turned 52. 53. 54. 55, I retire. Ooh.
Who wants some cake? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll take some pictures with the kids. Bye. Oh no. You just washed your hand, Lawa. The girls are throwing rocks. Well, that was unexpected for, I didn't think anyone was coming over. Now, pretty much the whole family is over. Last night we went out to eat. Um, we went to the Mekong River in Nong Kai. It was beautiful. You just sit there, the sun comes down. There was eight of us, eight adults and all the children. Very, very beautiful spot. If you ever have a chance to eat on the Mekong, it's wonderful. Today for my birthday, I received two Buddhas amulets. One, I don't know if I could show you this. One has five Buddhas on it. I'll see what I can do. Oh, hi. Really hard to work with one arm. So this one. Oh, there we go. So I think I'll get this one made up into a necklace. It's kind of unique. And it came from Gun who spends all of her time at the big temple. I gotta put it back in the package. Okay, so today the guys finished up eight panels one two three four five six seven eight panels <laughs> you could start seeing the the brick through it so for them to finish before i leave they got to do over tomorrow they would have to do at least 11 panels and then do that maybe 12 panels which i think they probably could do it. First of all, they come at nine o'clock, then they leave to go take the buffalo. Then obviously they leave around 12 and then sometimes they don't get back to like 1.30, sometimes two o'clock. So not a big deal. I don't have to be here. The, the why, like for material wise, I think we're good. I think we got lots of sand they've used three bags of concrete no two bags and i believe we got 15 total so tonight i think we're gonna have the thai tradition is when you celebrate is to go get raw beef and i don't know if tonight they go at 10 o'clock and do it i don't know We went to the market, got the girls some shoes and went and just got some food so we didn't have to make food. But I think this is where the video is going to end. Not the longest or greatest video, but hey, happy birthday to me. <laughs> Tom Alai.
just wait, don't go. I didn't tell anyone the price. Material wise, we got 15 bags of concrete, two yards of sand, and it worked out to be 3,100 baht, which is about $120 Canadian. And the labor is gonna be 380. So let's just say that to smooth the fence, it's gonna cost me 490 Canadian dollars. I still don't have a price on the other fence that I wanna do here. But I'm thinking of even if we leave that we're gonna get it done. Okay, now go back to doing whatever you could do.